My name's Tim, and this is Life's Wristband. Starting that new studio, forgot about your lighting, don't have the budget, it's all right. Today, we're gonna build a dollar store video light for under $15. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. So you bought that expensive camera, got all that gear ready, made your first video, and looked at it and were like, oh. <coughs> the Bride of Frankenstein. The lighting was terrible. And you know, lighting's really important. Probably one of the more overlooked things there is. Now I was in the dollar store, uh, put some parts together, and I, I think I made a pretty good light. Now, to be honest, not all of it was from the dollar store. I, I had to buy the lighting fixture from Home Depot. And that was around $6. So yeah, all in all, the, the total budget for it was around $15. So let's get started, put it together, and see how it works. So I wanted to come up with a level of difficulty. And I've seen some pretty cool ones out there. Uh, one guy's got a beard scale, and then I even saw one that was in beer. But we're gonna keep with the theme of the show and we're gonna go with wristbands. We're gonna go one through five in difficulty with five being the most difficult, one being the easiest. And I'm gonna rate this one a one wristband. Uh, real basic tools, you got them at home and simple parts. So let's go over all the tools and parts needed for this project. So you're gonna need any 12 or 18 volt powder drill, a one and a half inch hole saw bit, a can of Plasti Dip rubberized coating or any spray paint can of your liking, a knife for any overspray, and some sandpaper for final cleanup. Now on to the parts. So we have some dollar store clamps, a Home Depot light fixture, preferably the basket type, and two dollar store salad bowls. Now for our lights today, we have the dollar store 60 watt warm white and daylight bulbs. These are 800 lumens and 3000 kelvins in color. A 60 watt multicolor light from Lowe's. Uh, this bulb was around $10 and has a remote for the color options. It is also at 800 lumens and 2700 Kelvin in color. Now here we have a 100 watt CREE bulb at 1400 lumens and 2700 Kelvins. And to top off the warm white lights, I have a super bright 300 watt LED at 4,060 lumens and 3,000 kelvins in color. Now on the daylight side, other than the dollar store bulb, I have a 150 watt 2,610 lumens light at 5,000 kelvins. So let's put the light together. So the first thing we have to do is we have to cut the hole in the plastic tub. Now you should put some tape on the inside uh, and run the drill bit backwards, otherwise you run the risk of cracking uh, the, uh, the thin plastic. So, and then once we have the hole in, we're going to spray paint it uh, with the plastic dip. And I have one that I've already done. And as you can see, I have the hole here and we've got it covered. I could probably put a few more coats on it, uh, but it is working, uh, it's a pretty good blackout. So let's put this all together and see what it looks like. Now we're gonna take the painted uh, plastic bowl and we're going to uh, meet it up with the fixture. So first we take off the clamp. Now, you know, one person doing this, is always falling apart. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Now we're gonna take and put the cable cord through the hole. We're going to be really careful getting the plastic back on. There we go. And now we're going to take the clamp, put it back on here, spread it out a little bit, try to hold it all together with one hand and tighten her up. I need an assistant. Maybe someday. All right, so we tighten that up, kind of adjust it a little bit. And then as you can see, we have it attached on our light fixture. So now we'll go ahead and we'll hang this up and we'll put 
the other covers on. All right, so now I've got it hung up and I don't have a cover on, so it's extremely bright right now. But I wanted to kind of go over the clips. So I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna meet these two things together. And so as walking the dollar store, I came across those refrigerator cl uh, clamps. So what you do is take out the refrigerator clamp, bust off the magnet part, and then these I spray painted black just to kind of make it look I like the background piece and they turned out really good. so here it is and <clears throat> I'm really digging it I think it looks really good and the clips are so convenient they just pop off and you can change out the bulb and there's endless bulb combinations so let's test it out with some of the bulbs I have and we're going to I guess we're going to kind of do the same thing everyone else does and snap our fingers to make the change all right so we're ready first bulb dollar store 60 water uh, warm white. Whoa, what happened there? Man, I must have built in some transporter tech in the light. All right, well, this is a little dark, so let's get to the low 60 watt LED with the color options. Man, I really don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I must have stumbled onto something. I'll, I'll have to investigate later. Now, so this light is pretty much the same brightness as the dollar store ones, uh, but they have an added feature like dimmability. Uh, this one dims to 10%, 40%, and then 100%. And it also has a daylight option, and that has the same dim dimmability as the warm light option. Now, here's the functions that I like best. Ah, a little red light district going on here. Uh, this is a great party light color. All right, let's try some other color options. Ah, a little Christmassy color there. Hey, my shirt seems to be not changing. Hmm. All right, last one. Oh, nice color. Oh, my daughter would definitely dig this one. All right, let's get back to the white lights. Now, okay, there we go. We're back to our warm white light. All right, so we're gonna go right into the mega 300 water. Oh, oh well. I guess there's nothing I can do about this shirt issue. Man, this bulb is super bright. All right, we're gonna go test the 150 watt daylight bulb now. Wow, well, daylight sure makes a difference. Oh, hey, my shirt's back, yeah. All right, well, let's end this test. All right, so you can see there are a multitude of light bulb combinations. Now, this is the one I like the best. It's the 100 watt CRE bulb, and I think it's got the best uh, brightness and color combination. But let me know what you think in the comments about it. So some final thoughts. Uh, if you've you know, spent all your budget and all your other equipment and all your gear and forgot about lighting, you know this can be an option for you. It's super cheap, $15, and you can make two, three, four of them if you want. But I appreciate you stopping by and building this with me, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for visiting Life's Wristband. Feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. I post weekly when possible, so click on that notification bell as well.